The U.S. Air Force has validated a key concept that will drastically boost the service's firepower in wartime. Rapid Dragon, an approach named after an 11th century Chinese weapon system, involves loading cruise missiles on pallets. The system could eventually lead to transport planes launching bigger flying cargoes, including large attack drones. <laughs> The U.S. Air Force has for the first time in an overseas test used its Rapid Dragon system, in which cruise missiles on pallets are launched from the back of a mobility aircraft. The Air Force tested the Rapid Dragon concept earlier this month at Eglin Air Force Base in the western Florida Panhandle. The test involved loading a cruise missile flight test vehicle and several dummy missiles aboard a pallet rigged with a parachute. Airdropping palletized cargoes is not new to the Air Force, which literally rolls them out the back of the plane via the cargo ramp. Once the pallet exits the plane, a parachute deploys and the pallet floats gently to Earth. The hurtling box sheds its deployment parachute and deploys a quartet of other parachutes that steady it. When the deployment box is vertical, it releases a Yaz SMER missile downward. Within seconds, the missile's wings and tail snap open and its engine engages, leaving a trail of exhaust in its wake. <laughs> Rapid Dragon is different from the standard pallet prop. As the pallet descends, it orients its missile cargo nose down. The missiles fall out of their containers, pointing straight down. The descent allows the missile's turbine engines to spin up, the wings to deploy, and the missile to proceed to the target. Weapons will be released systematically when the module is parachuted. After the vertical release, the cruise missile flight test vehicle will perform a powered pull-up maneuver, extend its wings and tail, establish aerodynamic control, and begin traveling toward its newly designated target. Rapid Dragon is designed to fit in a six-pack pallet for smaller C-130J Super Hercules transport planes and a nine-pack for larger, longer-range C-17 Glowmaster Roman threes. A C-130J has a cargo section length of 41 feet, while the pallet in the video above is about 14 feet long, so each plane can probably carry two pallets with 12 missiles. The video shows C-130s dropping two pallets each, and C-17s dropping three pallets each. Though the cargo section length of 88 feet, each moose is theoretically capable of dropping up to five pallets or 45 missiles. <laughs> The main missile and vision for Rapid Dragon is the HEM-158 Joint Air-to-Surface Standoff Munition Extended Range, Yaz SMR. Yaz SMER is a stealthy land attack cruise missile capable of penetrating defended airspace, flying around enemy defenses to strike targets with a 1,000-pound WDU-42-B penetrating warhead. The missile has a range of 621 miles. In addition to a parachute, each pallet is equipped with a control module that feeds target data to the missiles. Air crews will be able to load target data into planes mid-flight, allowing for changes in plans as the battle rages on. If the plane's targets are destroyed during the mission, Air Force battle commanders could rear out the missiles to new targets.
Rather than customizing specific aircraft for the arsenal ship role, Rapid Dragon uses self-contained palletized munitions called deployment boxes that can be loaded aboard any C-130 in a 6-missile magazine or C-17 with a 9-missile magazine. These modular deployment boxes allow for the maximum variety in both weapons deployed and space utilized while keeping production costs low. The Rapid Dragon Air Launch Palletized Munitions concept aims to test the viability and operational benefits of dropping long-range palletized weapons from existing airlift platforms like the C-130 and C-17 without modifying the aircraft. With the successful completion of the current round of Rapid Dragon testing and plans to continue this work in the coming year, the Air Force looks at to keep pushing this concept toward an operational capability, one that could expand its long-range strike options in any future contingency. The Air Force hopes this concept will allow the U.S. and its allies to turn cargo aircraft into heavily armed bomb trucks that can engage enemies at a safe distance, giving combatant commanders more options to deliver firepower. Yeah.